Greetings all. Tis the Devious Monkey here. And it is way later on Saturday than it should be. It's 10 after four. You know, I talked about how I got the newer carbon fiber tripod and I got a newer carbon fiber gimbal head for said tripod for when I'm going around birding with my heavy ass camera gear. Now I have been using my Manfrotto legs that I've had for like over 15 years and it's a fantastic workhorse of a tripod, but it's big and it's heavy. And then couple that with the gigantic aluminum gimbal head that I got for it. And that shit is really heavy on top of the A7R4 with the grip and the 200 to 600 lens. So that shit is really heavy and I definitely feel the punishment. You know, my spine is like, dude, it's been horrible. So I knew that I needed to do something to help with that. And that was buying carbon fiber stuff. So I got the carbon fiber tripod yesterday and was hoping that I would get the gimbal head yesterday as well so that I could go out and play today. That was not to be. So I just drove to the UPS store, got the damn gimbal head, went home, put it all together, and then balanced the camera on it. And I'm on my way to Pleasure House Point. And I am going to do an initial, like, I'm going to walk through there and do what I always do and see if this really makes a difference on, on switching from heavy ass aluminum to super light carbon fiber. For now, let's get to Pleasure House Point and see how this thing feels. Well, kids, this was a heck of a test. Let me tell you why. So obviously I was just at Pleasure House Point. As I said, I wanted to go out and test the new carbon fiber tripod along with the carbon fiber gimbal head. And here's the result. <laughs> here's what I had on here. We'll call it seven grand. Seven grand was on this gimbal head, which at one point was attached to the tripod. I was walking and I was thinking to myself, all right, this, this, and I, you know, I always say, I hate to say game changer. And then I say something's a game changer. This was a game changer because it is so light and it was so awesome to walk back there with this. And I was talking in my head about how I was gonna craft this video and say how this like, absolutely, I recommend it wholeheartedly. And all in an instant, I heard a creaking sound and I instinctively reached up and I grabbed this right as it broke off the post of the tripod and I caught the camera and the lens. After my heart started beating again, I, like in shock, I started looking and I was like, are you freaking kidding me? So here's what happened. This is the post, the retractable center column that, that goes up and down, you know, within this tripod. This is the piece where it broke. Now, you probably can't see it that well. There's like these little brass pins there's little pieces on the inside, but the little pieces on the outside are sheared completely off. And you can see there's like these two little holes on the side. So those brass pins, they go from the inside to the outside. And my guess is that they snap into place on these little holes that are on this carbon fiber post. Well, and there's also like a track. You can see that there's a bit of a track there. So that's what guides it down in there. So that goes down inside there and holds the, like the connection point, which is now not connected. The pins, looks like the pins sheared off. Now I can't believe that that's what's holding this together. Those two dinky ass little brass pins. I mean, I don't know much about tripods and all that kind of stuff, but it seems to me that you're resting some seriously expensive equipment on two itty bitty brass pins. I don't know if you can explain that to me or not in a way that it makes sense. Bottom line, absolutely 
cannot recommend this tripod. What a disappointment that, that this snapped off because this is awesome. Like this felt so awesome. It was so light that I was really excited about going back there. And I mean, literally, I literally just got this delivered before I came here to test it out. Newer, thank Zeus, I caught this damn thing before my $7,000 camera setup fell to the ground because I would have flipped my shit if my stuff would have broken because this snapped and then seeing how crappily this was put together. So, you know, hey, I'm all for your gear and I have a lot of your gear, but now I don't want to use any of it. I don't want to use, I don't, I, like I have an aluminum version of this. I don't want to, I don't want to use it. I'd rather go back to lugging my heavy ass aluminum Manfrotto stuff that has never failed me in, in going on two decades than this, which I just bought and failed in the first two hours. And it could have been a very, very expensive fail. So I'm gonna link these in the description. The carbon fiber gimbal so far works great. Now I'm gonna to have to try to pry this apart and get it apart so that I can send the, the, the tripod back. I mean, what the hell? So Niemer, reach out to me. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what you're gonna do because this is awful. This is absolutely awful. This could have been catastrophic, not cool. Do not recommend, don't buy this tripod because look what happened. All right. That's all I got for you. I need to go get my heart running again. So as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.